Max Makushe, Senior Secondary School Principal, Gottfried Mukata, fears for his position after several unfounded allegations were leveled against him by members of the community. During an emergency meeting to find a solution to the parents' refusal to contribute towards the procurement of a backup power generator, Mukata used the platform to address what he believes to be the community's motives behind the refusal. Mukata said he has over the years been accused of, amongst others, having recruited teachers from other regions at the expense of the locals, poor management and misappropriation of school development funds. They are touching the teachers here at this school. They are mostly Oshuambos. The principal, the principal is from Zambezi, is a foreigner. Some of the other, why can't this person go back? I mean, for those ones who uttered those tribalistic statements, it will not be right. Let me be addressed as a, as a person, as, 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 as a Namibian, not to point out and say this foreigner. How am I a foreigner in my own country? Similarly, Mukata said the school would not have achieved such a higher level of academic performance if it was poorly managed. Uh, they are saying poor management of Max Makushe. Poor management. For me, I say poor management is equals to poor result or poor performance. Good management is equals to good results. I'm not saying here maybe to say it as somebody, maybe I'm trying to show that we are very proud, but I have to indicate the level that we have reached is not easy. The school management resolved at the meeting that all the mandatory parent contributions made this academic year be refunded and that no further school development projects will be initiated. The meeting also decided that the key of the school minibus be handed over to the regional office. The school management feels that it is being held at gunpoint while unfounded allegations are leveled against it because the parents are making contributions to the school. The parents, however, rejected the school management's decision and committed themselves towards paying the necessary contributions as required by the school.